Mourning the Lost Understanding Grief and Expression Hello, everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to explore a profound and heartfelt topic, Mourning the Lost. This phrase carries deep emotional weight and is significant in various cultures and languages around the world. Join me as we delve into the meaning of this phrase its use in English, and the importance of understanding its context in real-life situations. Mourning is a process of expressing deep sorrow and grief, usually due to the death of a loved one. When we say someone is mourning the lost, it means they are in a state of grief over a loss, which is most commonly associated with death but can also refer to other forms of loss such as the end of a relationship, loss of a job, or even the loss of one's health or independence. Mourning is not just a single emotion but a journey through various stages of grief. It involves a multitude of emotions such as sadness, anger, denial, bargaining, depression, and eventually acceptance. This journey is deeply personal and can vary greatly from one individual to another. It's important to understand that mourning the lost is a natural and necessary process for healing. English, like many languages, has a range of expressions to describe the process of mourning. Phrases such as, grieving a loss, in mourning, or paying respects, are commonly used. Understanding these phrases helps in comprehending the cultural and emotional context in which they are used. Mourning practices can vary greatly across different cultures. In some cultures, mourning involves solemn ceremonies and wearing specific colors like black. In others, it might involve celebrating the life of the deceased. Recognizing these cultural nuances is crucial when you encounter the phrase, mourning the lost, in different contexts. In conclusion, Mourning the lost is a deeply human experience, universal yet uniquely personal. Whether you're learning English for personal growth, or to understand different cultures, recognizing the depth of this phrase enriches your comprehension of the human experience. I hope this lesson has been insightful and helps you navigate these complex emotional landscapes with empathy and understanding. Thank you for joining, and take care until our next lesson.